So I found a 3D resin printer for $100. That's right guys, 100 bucks. The Keeley C60 Resin 3D Printer. We're gonna see if this thing's any good. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I found a 3D resin printer for a hundred bucks. Is it any good? Well, I just received it, just saw the Amazon guy, grabbed the package, set up the camera, and I have it here for you guys today to take a look. So I haven't even unboxed this thing yet, and I'm excited and a little scared because the reviews weren't the greatest. Now, what we're looking at here today is the Keylan, or Keely, uh, you guys know if you watch my channel, I'm not the best with names, it's a weird name, Keely C60 Mono Resin 3D Printer. Now, the Mono stands for a Mono LCD screen, meaning that doesn't have the multiple colors in it so it won't burn out as fast basically the mono will last longer on your resin 3d printer now you might be wondering will you got the Elegoo Mars. Why are you even bothering with this? The Mono LCDs actually let more UV light in. So that means this will print faster, which is really good. And plus, I was having problems with my Elegoo Mars. Just before we get started, guys, I paid for this with my own money. Keyland did not reach out to me. I saw it on Amazon. I was having problems with my Elegoo Mars. I just went ahead and bought it because I'm like, you know what? For a hundred bucks, let's try it. Worst case scenario, I have to send it back. Let's get into unboxing this thing and taking a look at it, shall we? And now I will tell you guys right off the bat that people said that it came damaged. So let's see if it really did come damaged. I'm hoping not because this was a box inside a box. Let's take a look at this thing. The moment of truth. All right. So far, so good. Looks really nice. Got a nice full colored manual. Reviews that the manual was too tiny to read any of the print. All right, that's it. That's everything right there. All right, so this looks a lot like, honestly, the Elegoo Mars, and this is damaged. It's nothing bad. I mean, crack top, that's not horrible. It's not all the way through. It's good enough to keep the UV light out. Which, that was one of the complaints people were having. Filled plate. This is very reminiscent of the Elegoo Mars once again. And people said they have problems with the build plate, and I could see that already. There is a little chip there. So we might have to sand that down a little bit and get that situated. That was one of the complaints. But it is nice in the aspect of the slant and it's fully metal. Power brick. Power plug. Looks like they jammed some tools down here. A little squeegee. Allen key. Looks like they jammed gloves down here. At least they tried. Oh, and the USB stick, good thing I checked. Now, one thing I wanna go through real quick, guys, I get a lot of questions through Instagram lately, and people get these resin 3D printers, and I was talking to a guy on Instagram, and he didn't realize that everything you need is on that USB stick, guys. Make sure any printer you get, any of these 3D printers, 90% of the time, I would say probably 99% of the time, the SD card or the USB stick, has everything you need on it. It has the printer settings, it has some files to work with. I'm gonna put this in the computer, we'll take a look at it in a minute, but for now, let's finish the unboxing. All right, so, unscrew this. Where's the vat? Oh, it looks like it's got a filter there too, built into it. The vat is plastic. Uh, that's to be expected, I guess, in this price point. I've never had a plastic vat. I'm one of those people that kind of like the metal. So you could replace it. I mean, there's a hundred dollar printer and I got an Elegoo Mars vat. In fact, you know what? Let's see if the Elegoo Mars vat will fit on this thing. Let's do that real quick. I'm just curious. Elegoo Mars vat. All right, so if you wanted a replacement vat, you could definitely put the Elegoo Mars vat in there. All right, so I'm very happy about that. I can use the both vats, whichever one I want. And let's just take a quick look at this. This really is reminiscent of the Elegoo Mars. I know I keep saying that. And it's got exhaust fans in the back there. What I really like, and this is where it's ready beating out the Mars, USB stick right in the front. So far, it's pretty good. Another thing that people were complaining about, they were saying that this pushes the build plate too hard against the screen. 
screen and to 3D print one of these, which I did do just in case it's a problem, but it looks like they're fixing a lot of the complaints that they're having on these machines. So let me plug it up and just make sure everything's working correctly. So far for a hundred bucks, what do you want? I mean, this is awesome. All right, just to show you guys real quick, this is the deal I got. It says there's only 11 left in stock. It was 99 bucks. I purchased it this day, received it today, which is the 21st. I put the USB stick in. We're gonna open that up and see what's in here. Now they have a version of Cheeto Box and the configuration file, and that is it. Again, guys, the $99 printer, what do we expect? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy it to the desktop because I don't wanna mess with it. Paste item. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Cheeto Box, which I already have. Let's go into settings. We're gonna add a printer. All right, so it is not in the list. All right, guys, I've been playing with this for a while right now. I've been trying to get the file format correctly. Unfortunately, if you're running a Mac, the software they provide you on the SD card will not work. But when I unzipped it, it was only for Windows. And it's version, you can see it right here, it's version 8.0. If you're on a PC, just do this, unzip it, get it, all right? Do it that way. I'm on a Mac, so I can't I can't do that. And if you go to Chitterbox, Downloads, Basic, right now they have 1.9.1. That ain't gonna work for me. So if you click on beta, they have version 8.8.0. That's what you want for the Mac, and you click on download. It'll take you to a login screen. You have to make an account. You make an account, you download it, you get a version of it. Okay, once you're done with that, the beta version 8.0. You're gonna click in here, and you're gonna go to help, and you're gonna go to import configurations. Click on that. Click on this right here, click open. I already did that. When you have your model, which I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller because I am actually gonna print this, I wanna export this out. So if I slice it, all right, so we'll save it. It's gonna cost us whole 80 cents, save it, and we're gonna save it to this drive right here. When you go to save it, make sure it is a CTB. That is what we want, the Chitto Box Slicer one. It may be something else, it did not work for me. Make sure it's a CTB. Okay, I'm gonna save that. I got about two hours into this right now trying to figure it out because I couldn't make it work with 1.9. I had to go back to the 1.8. So this is a downfall of this printer. If you go to their website, there is nothing on their website. You can't, you can't even get to it. It's like the company doesn't exist. So this is part of getting a deal for a printer. Okay, so I showed you what's on the USB stick. The reason why I showed you that was that is the only way you're gonna be able to make a file that will be printable on this machine. Speaking of which, the website is non-existent. I tried emailing them, non-existent. So there is no support for this machine. And I apologize for my voice. I've been playing with this for a week and within that week, I got a cold. And it's not COVID because I tested three times and it's, it's not that, it's just really bad. So I'm just trying to get through this part of the video and I apologize for my weird voice, my crusty nose and my demeanor. <laughs> So I thought because it looked like an Elegoo Mars 2 Pro, I did crack this bad boy open and I looked at the board and it looks almost identical to the Elegoo Mars. I got in touch with Chitto Boards. I was messaging them back and forth on Facebook Messenger and the guy told me it was a custom board and it does look like a version two board, but it is a custom board and the firmware isn't going to work. So basically you're stuck with 1.8 until they discontinue that. You could save a copy. You're also missing out on a lot of 1.9's features that are either coming or are there that you can't get on this machine. That's a really big blockade for me. I like to be able to keep up with what's new as far as slicing software, not only for my channel, but things become easier as you move on with 3D slicing software. Now, all the prints that you see over here, I did do. I'm gonna show you first the two Deadpools that I did. This one is on my Elegoo Mars. I got my Elegoo Mars working and I wanted to compare it against the actual original Elegoo Mars against the Keylan, or we're gonna call this the C60 because apparently I can't pronounce the damn name. This is the Elegoo Mars, this is the C60. And the quality came out really good. The only thing that I noticed is on the C60, the 
base was a lot thinner because that bed does come down all the way. I did use a piece of paper to level it out and it is really tight against the bed. I did try to correct it. Somebody mentioned on one of the reviews that you should 3D print this piece, this L-shaped piece. And I did 3D print it and it is two millimeters longer and I'll show you a picture where they're side by side. Unfortunately, it did not work out. It was not hitting the bed hard enough to actually make anything stick and I wind up changing it out and just leaving the bed as tight as it was because I wasn't having any luck with anything trying to print. I was trying to print this actually, and then that's when I realized I was on an unlevel surface when I had the folding table out, and that's why I moved the printer over here because as you could see, I did 3D print Hulkbuster, Iron Man Hulkbuster, and this side of his arm kind of came out wonky and not correct. I think that's because it wasn't leveled, wasn't sure. Did another test once I moved it over to here, and I did this beautiful little castle. and. This came out incredible. The, the print quality is really good. It stuck really good. And that's using Chitto Box 1.8. I, I was really impressed with that. Then I hit it up to the next level and I did this devil. I forgot what this devil's from. It was from an 80s movie. I forgot what it was. But I did this devil mainly because of the horns. I wanted to see how it was going to print out and the fine detail. And this actually did come out really good. I noticed on the horns you could see some of the layer lines. And then over here, you can see some of the layer lines. I don't know why that is. I think that some of the settings need to be adjusted, but it was also making some weird noises. And I'll show you this and it's probably... I did lubricate the X axis, but it was making some weird noises, and I think that's what was causing the vibrations to make those layer lines show up. I was gonna take it apart and fix it, but I haven't gotten a chance to do that because I did get sick. But I did do this test, it's that city test that everybody likes to do, and I like this one because it does it throughout the whole build plate, and I gotta say, it did come out really good. So it must be something where I'd have to clean the rod and re-lubricate it and make sure that everything's working correctly. It only made that noise in the beginning and then I think it kind of worked itself out. But the city came out really good. The detail was really pretty good. The only thing, again, you get in that sandwiching. It's getting too low where you can't even see the numbers. There's supposed to be numbers on the base. So it is sandwiching it too much. So I'm wondering if there was a way to adjust that or maybe in a setting in the actual software we could adjust that. So yeah, after using it for well over a week, really enjoyed it. Let me just tell you some of the stuff that I did like about it. I did like that the build plate had the bigger nuts on it. I thought that was great. That is a great upgrade. The Elegumars, the original one, had the smaller head ones. Trying to get them tightened down, you wind up stripping them out. I like the ball and pivot better than I like. A lot of the companies do the side rails where you gotta tighten down four screws. I don't like that. I like this type of design. This was 25% faster than the Elegumars, the original Elegumars, because it has that mono screen. When I did the test, I was going back and forth looking at it, and this one was 25% faster. So, such a big difference. I love that the USB is in the front of this machine. The interface is exactly like the Elegoo Mars. The only thing that was a little bit different was it had the cleaning function, which the Elegoo Mars does not have the clean the vat function. Where Things I didn't like, it is very noisy. The motor does sound like it should have had some kind of padding or something like that, which some people that's not a deal breaker for, for them. The holes in the build plate really aggravated me. At one point, I didn't realize these holes were here and they'll hold the resin sometimes and when on the screen, I didn't realize it and I usually check the screen and it was such a little smudge of it that it kind of ruined one of my prints. So another thing I said earlier was the plastic vat. It's not a deal breaker. I gotta say, using the plastic vat, the, the only thing that got me with the plastic vat is sometimes I expected it to be heavier than it was and I lifted up on it and almost dropped some of the resin and I was just like, oh, oh yeah, that, that isn't that heavy. So I do rather a metal vat, but the plastic really didn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Now I did say I opened this up. I did notice the screen was glued in and I know this is a mono screen so it will last longer but I didn't like that it was glued in there to where you're gonna have to break off that glue and you could possibly ruin some of the electronic. And trying to find the screen, that's another thing. It may be an Elegoo screen. You'd have to do some research. Again, the company just dispatched and that's it. And that's why it's $100. Like I said, there is no support, guys. I tried going to the website several times. It is completely down. I tried going to the Facebook page, nothing. Every resource that they have, they have no firmware download, nothing. So, okay, so in conclusion, my overall thoughts on this, guys. For 100 bucks, if 
you don't have a resin 3D printer and you're not new to 3D printing, I, I, I gotta specify this, that you're not new to 3D printing because if you're new, this is gonna be very frustrating. I mean, you can follow along with my video. I showed you how to set up the print. This is an awesome buy for a hundred bucks. It's eventually gonna be outdated. You'll probably get a couple years out of it. I would totally keep this machine, but I got my Elegoo Mars working again, so I don't really need the machine. The build volume isn't that much bigger and I have a machine that works again. Yes, it is 25% faster, but it's only working with Chitto Box 1.8. That's kind of a deal breaker for me and there's no support for it. So I'm gonna return it. There is other cheaper options out there. And if I'm gonna take up my real estate, I really want a bigger resin 3D printer. I'm looking something more like the Elegoo Saturn. I already have this size of a 3D printer, so it's just, it doesn't make sense for me. So I am gonna send it back, but for $100, this is a damn steal. Overall, I give it a three out of five stars, guy, because there's no support and you're kind of stuck with what you got and it ain't gonna work with the new Chitto box. So that's what I think about that. If you're thinking about it and you have a resin printer and you just want another one as a backup, totally go for it. If you're brand new, this may be a little aggravating. This might be a little out of your realm because there isn't support there. Now, as of making this video, it did sell out on Amazon and it did come back within the week. So I'm gonna leave the Amazon link down below. It may be sold out. I'm very sorry about that. But I also did find it on AliExpress for $119. And I'll leave that in the link down below as well. So if anybody was interested in this, you will probably have to act fast before they're gone. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you in any way, and ring that bell if you want to get notified when I make another video. They're pretty interesting. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. <coughs> God. Ugh, still not feeling good. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just putting it out there. <laughs>